now it should have around 300 safe horsepower, but it's on a original <laughs> approved. <laughs> Yo, what's up people? Good morning and now it's really morning because it's 4 o'clock in the morning and I'm waiting for Josef with his tow car and we are heading to big road trip which is gonna take long time to get there but let's hope it will be worth it because I'm buying new car. I will explain more later because there was a short, maybe not short, it's a medium break of two months, no vlogging and now I'm back and I can't wait to show you everything what actually happened. I will say more when it will be more light outside and I will be more on life. Now I'm just still sleeping. One eternity later. Yo, so it's currently 10 a.m. and we are getting closer and closer. It's just one and a half hour and we will be at the spot it's really close to the ukraine borders in poland so pretty long way uh, but it's kind of fast at least in my feelings because i am really stoked about it i'm looking forward but let me do a quick recap i haven't vlogged like two months now or actually i have been recording vlogs but i didn't post them anywhere because i had no time to you know edit them and work on them so let's do a quick recap we start with my drift car. I bought the RX-8, I start stripping it down and uh, the plan was to cage it, as you can see. But later on, uh, winter is coming and the shuttles for the cage was just so busy that I would have to wait till, let's say, start of the next year just for the cage and then I can start the build and I had no time for it. So that's the reason why we have our today trip also we have been on drift masters and i was there as a media which was super amazing and super good experience and it was really great Also on a Drift Masters I bought the Adam LZ steering wheel which I really wanted for a long time and also I had a chance to meet Adam and I have his signature on the wheel which will go to my drift car for next season so that was super great highlight of Drift Masters and also uh, Josef uh, have his RX-8 already built it up we have been working like two months every day from morning to late evenings or nights and we managed to fix the car and build it till a competition in Brno in Czech Championship and it was a good test of the car. So there are a few clips and let's move on on this trip. And I'm driving, that's why I'm not vlogging and I have to stop. <laughs> Cactus, huh? Cactus! Cactus! So, we had a bit of situation of buying the car because it was kind of long process, you know, you have to check everything, you have to ride in a car and, you know, it's not usual car for streets and for this uh, drift car I really was focusing to check everything. And it took much longer and we are in a time press to rush back because it's a really long way. We have been in city which is called Krasnystav which is really funny because in exact Czech transition it would actually mean like beautiful condition so it's not really beautiful condition the car we have to do a lot of work on it but yeah I bought it and just like that
Galaxy and somebody of course recognizes this engine it's BMW engine and it's actually M50B920 so under the hood is BMW engine as someone recognized for sure and it's M50 B29 turbo stroker now it should have around 300 safe horsepowers but it's on a original <laughs> approved by drifter <laughs> original BMW ECU with some uh, EcoMaster piggyback which is not really good and we have to change it for legit EcoMaster black the engine is rebuilt it and it should make more horsepowers and it should help sometime so that's the main part actually what we bought it but yeah still a lot of work and we are still in a time rush so let's just enjoy this quick cinematics and when i come home i will tell you more information or maybe tomorrow when it will be uh, light outside because now it's getting dark already let's go good morning people it's another day and today I'm gonna do some maintenance stuff on the car and I'm gonna tell you what is the plan with the car and what we're gonna change in the future and much more but uh, I just woke up it's pretty early in the morning but I have to do it now so let's warm up the car let's start it up and first we're gonna start with oil change so let's go So it's day number three and we just came to the spot to test out the car, how it's handling and how everything works. But it's raining outside, but we had no time to test it any different day because soon I'm leaving to Croatia for uh, enduro trip. So yeah, today is the only option. So yeah, let's put the car outside of the trailer and let's test. Too much horsepower, rain is coming. <laughs> So yeah, the car is tested and let's start with the positive ones because it's gonna be shorter. The engine works, it has plenty of horsepower, at least for me, so that's good. That I was really scared that the engine will be, you know, some kind of shit build and it will don't work. So, engine works, that's good. But the overall build is built really, how to say, DIY I would say. So there is plenty of work on that because let's start fuel doesn't work oil pressure is weird and it's getting overheated so yeah BMW things so now we're gonna pack everything come home and we start oh sorry uh, battery died in my camera so let's finish this overall we have to make this car really proper build and make this to be able to compete in a Pro 2 category next year, which is actually my plan. So yeah, now I maybe look tired, but it's more that I'm, you know, a lot of feelings in my head because we had problem to start the car after it was warmed up. We realized that the fuel is not okay because the fuel reg regulator or how is it called that shows you the pressure, it doesn't show anything. So yeah small issues we're gonna cut it anyway we're gonna put everything new in there 
And also I wanted to say that the drifting now in this car is not perfect because there is not welded diff. It's like the differential type that it locks itself, you know, and it doesn't work that as it should. So we have spare whole body with this kind of parts like differentials and all the stuff and we will just make it all brand new and all working you know I can't wait for this uh, build it's gonna be really a lot of fun and a lot of work and yeah now I have to leave for Croatia for enduro trip I will make sure that I will vlog something at least and yeah see you at the part two when we're gonna start on this build we're gonna cut it out we're gonna make it proper all right thank you so much for watching See ya.